Okay, one of the cool things you can do in Revit is you can use something called the camera tool to create some actual pictures from within the rooms you've created. So for instance, if I come over here to my 3D views, I've got a couple I've already done. So that's a view of the dining room, one of the views of the kitchen, different view of the kitchen, toilets and so on. And the way you do this is really straightforward. Um, you basically decide on your floor plan, so I'm on my ground floor, where I actually want to place a camera. So there's my floor plan. So if I wanted to take um, a picture of the kitchen, perhaps looking this way, to see whatever's in the middle here, I, I'll go into my view menu, I choose from the drop down camera, and then it basically says where do I want to put the camera. So I'm going to position my camera here, and then I'm going to drag in the direction of uh, I want to take the, the, the photograph. So I'm going to click, like a, with an ordinary camera, it's taking the picture for me. Now down the bottom here I've got various things to do with the kind of level of detail and stuff. So if I increase the levels on here, we'll try it with consistent colours. You can see what that looks like now. There's other options you've got to do with realistic colourings. And you can even come up and you can change the graphic display options altogether. You've got a whole bunch of things you can do in here, deciding whether you want shadows on and lighting, different sorts and so on. You can have a play around with those. But even when you're within that picture, if you hold down shift and you hold your middle um, mouse button, you can still rotate around and move about even within that photograph to slightly alter the angle. Now you can't do it a huge amount because your camera's still staying in the same place, but it's like pivoting it left and right. So this is a really cool way of, of creating lots of different views, especially when you want to put together a presentation. All I need to do then is to come over here where it says 3D view 1, I just rename it to whatever that particular view is that I want so this is I'm going to call this one kitchen 3 and save it and that's basically in and if I change anything within my actual um, in my in my drawing itself so say I change the wall color when I was in here or something it would be reflected in the changes made in the various um, different images here okay good luck with that